Alright guys, so forgot to do an intro to this video as usual, but we got a quad and adductor focused workout for this training session with my man Harris is competing at the 2018 Universe, WMBF Pro Universe, super pumped about that. We started off with hip adduction, hip abduction, and then these glute kickbacks just to get the hips warmed up, and then our first isolation movement for the day. We did a little bit of pre-exhaustion, so we started off with these lying leg extensions. Um, we did about four working sets, anywhere between 12 to 20 reps was our goal. This might be the only hamstring exercise we hit today. Really a quad focus day. So these lying hamstring curls in. It's really something we're trying to bring up with Harris. I'm excited to see what it looks like from the rear this year, man. So as you guys can see, when I'm performing basically any exercise, I always try to get a slight pause in that fully contracted position. So here at the top of the leg extension, kind of holding it for a slight second. When my quads are fully shortened, I want to make sure I'm getting a really good contraction here and not just going through the motion. This machine was interesting. It really wasn't too stable. Uh, that cable was kind of swiveling and it felt like it made me stabilize that movement and made my quads work even a little bit harder than most leg extension machines that are super stable and in one plane of motion. So one thing I really focus on when performing the lion hamstring curl is keeping those glutes contracted the entire time and actually staying in hip extension throughout the entire range. So although the primary function of the hamstring is to flex the knee joint, its secondary function is to extend the hip joint. So by keeping my glutes contracted and extending at the hips, I'm actually getting my hamstrings in a much shorter position. So the hamstring is made up of three muscles essentially of the semi-tendinosis, semi-membranosis, and bicep femoris. And all three of those muscles actually do extend the hip joint. The only muscle that doesn't is the short head of the bicep femoris. So if you give your lying hamstring curls a shot like that and you change your execution, you're gonna notice a much deeper contraction, um, but you're probably gonna have to use a much lighter weight than you typically would. Our next exercise we got into was the hack squat machine. As you can see here, Harris is using a full range of motion and he has his feet very, very close together. Um, I utilize the similar stance, but my range of motion was nearly as deep as Harris is performing here. Uh, honestly, I think it was due mainly to my ankle mobility and the position on the platform that I decided to use. Harris's top set, uh, he went up to, what is that, five plates on each side, I believe, and because it was his top set, I decided to stop recording, kind of just set the camera down and uh, be there in case you need a spot to push through a couple of extra reps, so definitely um, happy with his leg growth this offseason, hamstrings really came up, quads came up, even his calves have come up as well, so just super, super pumped to see what he brings to the stage this 2018. Definitely follow his journey. Um, you guys will not be disappointed. Instagram handle is at NYC Superman. So 
the next movement we got into was this very interesting squat machine. I've never used it before. Um, it was honestly pretty awkward to me, but the cool thing was you literally had no pressure on your back whatsoever. So it's really, really good if you're kind of dealing with some sort of lower back injury. However, um, it was a little bit uncomfortable on my hips. Have something going on with my left hip flexor, but you know, still a really good option. Um, we ended up supersetting that squat machine with this reverse hack squat. Again, um, pretty similar movements, but we were able to switch up our foot positions on both exercise. This reverse hack squat is very uh, glute dominant just because you get a lot of hip flexion and hip extension, and you kind of break at the hips naturally here first. So uh, both exercises were really good at targeting both the quads and glutes. So you guys couldn't really see my foot position on the hack squat, but I did use a very narrow stance while hack squatting. Um, here I took a much wider stance with a little bit of external rotation at the hip. So like I said, these actually did feel really good. I didn't have any pressure on my low back, which was nice, but my left hip flexor is still giving me a little bit of an issue. But it was still cool to give this machine a shot, and if it was something I had access to, perhaps something I would utilize more often. As you guys can see, we did a lot of compound movements between the first hack squat we did, the reverse hack squat, the belt squat, and now we're doing some leg press movements. So we definitely did a lot of total volume, but um, I was smashed the next day. My quads were super, super sore. Um, definitely a bit more volume than I have been training with, but something I really enjoyed. Last movement for the day before getting into calves was these Bulgarian split squats. Um, we didn't go super heavy with them, our quads were completely shot by this point, but we wanted to get in some unilateral work and utilize an exercise that allows you to work through a very good range of motion. She Moving forward, I think I'm going to add the Bulgarian split squat 
back into my normal training routine. However, I think I might use a barbell and utilize a front rack position when performing this exercise. Um, something that definitely smashes my quads. However, the way you perform this movement is going to heavily dictate whether the glutes are doing a lot of the work or the quads are doing a lot of the work. If you want the quads to do most of the work, make sure you're initiating the movement by breaking at the knee. If you want the glutes to do a lot of the work, make sure you're initiating by breaking at the hip and sitting back. So I like doing this for quads and I break at the knee first. 